Standing outside Ljubljana Opera House, my dear. That's yeah. what I'm doing. I'm singing opera. But we are actually on our way to Tivoli Gardens today, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning, blue skies. We're not even wearing jackets. So let's start the show. Okay, so we are in Tivoli Park. Um, I think it's just this out of the this is just typically gosh i hope so because i don't fancy walking around this entire area no it's miles i think that the other bit is called tivoli riznik something else so oh, i see so it's so I think this is like the outer bit. I think the main Tivoli bit is the one in In fact, green. this isn't even Tivoli because it's just this bit here. There's a, it says number one is Park Tivoli. And this is Tivolsky Ribnik, this bit, which I'm not sure what that so, is. So I think it's over to our right hand side because this other bit. Oh, I see. This extension bit, because I think that we're on this bit right here. Oh. So I think Tivoli might just be this bit right here. Oh, I see. It's, really, it's vast. Look, there's like tulips, right? There's lots of posters here, which I believe are depicting various works of art from Slovenian artists, possibly artifacts, paintings and whatever that you might be able to see at some of the very many museums. Oh, look at this one. That's good. I am very impressed with how vast this Tivoli Park is. It seems to be going on for miles and miles. And I think it's just fabulous that it is in such an open space. I think that it gives us, the public, a chance to appreciate the vast and magnificent beauty that Ljubljana and Tivoli Park has to offer. There seems to be some nice sculptures as we walk through the park. There are a lot of benches for you to sit down and to try to relax as well. Look at this interesting sign. Do you think it's about keeping dogs on leads, Paul? Well, this is the dog and this, and this is a lead, so I would gather that you should have your dog on a lead when entering the park. I see. Hmm. I wonder what this house is up here. Is it a museum? I don't really on my Google map. And uh, is it being guarded by dogs? Those, those statues? Dogs. No, those, not those. <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite know what they're doing. Is she kissing his arm or something? I think that they're dancing perhaps. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> but, but up here, look, yeah, there I are statues. Are they dogs? dogs? Well, we established in our previous episode that dogs figure quite highly in people's lives here. Hello, doggy. They are dogs, look. Is that a Christmas tree? I think that there's one on this side as well as that side. Yeah, maybe they are kept here all year and then decorated at Christmas. That would be lovely. Look, and there's two more dogs over this side. So do you think that this is the dog house then? <laughs> I don't know. Let's walk into the vast greenery now. These are the lungs of Ljubljana. 
you could probably spend hours in here just breathing in all the fresh air, all the oxygen. Orcas? Yeah. I think, I think that Tivoli Park is their version of Central Park to New York. Yes, I think it is. That's fabulous. But is it man-made, like Central Park, or...? I'm not sure, but it, there is some upkeep which is involved. I suppose all imagine. parks are man-made to some extent, um, but Central Park is completely landscaped, mm. right? Oh, I see a bird feeder. That's interesting. There are clothes pegs attached to this bird feeder. I guess that you could attach bags of nuts or something to that. Look at all these lovely flowers down here. The purple ones, I don't know what they are. Does anybody know? I could see why Tivoli Park is such a tourist destination because I think it gives you the opportunity to get away from the city center and the hustle and bustle and just kind of just unwind if you need the space from the hectic city life. I do believe there is another bird table up here, look. It's even got a number on it. 212. Or is it 22? It's 22. I wonder who lives at number 22. In fact, there are bird boxes all over the place. This one's number 20. So the birds do have lots of neighbors. Okay, come over here. Oh, look at this, Paul. Over here, <gasps> there is a little bridge and a signpost. I'm not sure what it says. It says, Otok Sporta Tavolsky VRH. I'm going to investigate the bridge, though. Let's see. Oh, there's a little stream. Look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit damp underfoot. I think that that would be going into the forest. Oh, well, I don't think we want to venture that far. No. No. Which way to go now? Oh, Paul's going that way. I think this way's back towards the city. Hello. Okay. Did say there were a lot of dogs. I think this must be some sort of educational stadium platform for school kids because look, there's lots of things along here like, mm. can you name what this is? It's a violin. What's that? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it was something completely different. What is that, broccoli or something? Or oh, look, trees? <laughs> he's got a face, oh my God. this guy. Oh, I recognize him. Uh, there's a boaty. Acorn. Oh, right, okay. Leaf? Yeah. Oh, and what's under this one? An oak. Oh, I see. It's an oak leaf. Oh, okay. Look at this bird. What is it? A raven? A crow? Hey, are you from one of those bird houses we saw? Are you out for your morning stroll? Hello, birdie. Gosh, that's an unusual sound you're making. So what did you think of the park, Paul? I think the park was really nice and it was nice and compact, I would say, and it is a really nice open space that people could play ball games in, 
people could have picnics in, people could just come during their lunch break and have their lunch. It was a, like, I think this is a really fabulous park. What do you think? I think you could also go bird watching. I see lots of birds and people take their doggies for mm. walks here as well. And it is vast and it's actually quite easy to navigate, I think, because to get back to the city, you just walk down this lane down here, mm. which is one big straight stretch ahead of us. This is the Narodna Galerija. So I believe this might be translated to the National Gallery. Please let me know if I am mistaken. Thank you. Strange phone box. Oh, why can I not make a call? Hello, where's the phone? It's on this side. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, yes, you'd like to subscribe. It's Paul and Martha's on YouTube. Going up, but I'm trying to get One of the best ways to visit a city is by taking a tour bus, or in our case, a tour train. We are on board. We have picked up a leaflet in English, and the guy told us that if we wanted to listen in to the commentary, it is on number two for English, and he has given us these little packs of earphones to wear. So there are two carriages on this train. He did say that the screen, which will be showing, I guess, information about all the different places we're visiting, isn't working on this one. But we can actually see the one in front. But we chose to sit here on this particular carriage because there is nobody sitting directly in front of us. So we might be able to get better views from the sides as we go along. So at the moment, there's no one on board behind us, but there are people buying tickets over there from the stand. It could be due to change. Yeah, so there could be people coming on board, although he may be telling them all that the screen is broken here. So you never know, we might have the entire train to ourselves. In fact, those people have just decided they're not going on it. So we're due to leave in about five or 10 minutes, I think, at 1.15. Seven. And the direct circular route takes about 70 minutes about an hour oh, wow. and 10 <laughs> minutes depending and paul is now going to take you through all the various stops as we look at the map take us through it paul uh huh all right so we are at the town hall and we go this way past the castle we stop here for i think he said 15 minutes oh. at the castle and then we go okay. back and then we go here what is stop three this is the botanic gardens oh right and then we go to the embankment didn't we go here earlier oh. and then we go picnic house um, and then we go to i don't know what this is our congress square the parliament opera which i think we have seen earlier. oh right that was the opera house and then i don't know what this is 
Yeah, okay. And then back down to the town hall again. And it's called Urban, circular ride with a tourist train. It's 1.15 and I think we are about to take off. Although having said that, the door is still open. He has to close all the doors. And as it stands, there's still no one else on board this train. Here he comes. Do you know what this reminds me of? No. The old slam door trains in the UK. Did you ever go on board one of those, Paul? No. Oh, are they going to make it? There's always a late comer, isn't there? <sighs> yeah, delays. Oh, I saw these people earlier. Do you? Yeah. They were like idling around earlier on, and now they're holding up the train. And I suppose they're going to come on board here and with the children and it's going to create noise. We don't really know what they're saying anyway, Our first stop is at Ljubljana Castle. We'll be featuring that in the next episode. But just on the way up, we saw some fabulous snow on the mountaintops. And I think we, we flew over some of those mountains when we arrived the other day. It's called the Botanic Garden. Well, I thought that was rather enjoyable. What about you, Paul? 
I think that was a really nice visit around the city centre. And with the commentary, it meant that you got to learn a little bit about Ljubljana as well. Now, if we forgot to say at the start, it costs 10 euro per person. Although if you are in a group, I think it cuts down the cost a bit. You can pick up a leaflet um, from the stand, which is just over here outside the town hall and uh, also online. And I can't remember the website off the top of my head, but just look up the Ljubljana tourist train and you will find it there. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, please give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because it will help us along our way towards a thousand subscribers. And for those of you that are feeling very generous, you may want us to buy us a cup of coffee. And that is in the description below. That's it for today, but we do have more to come from Ljubljana. In fact, on our next episode, we will be going to see the castle. Oh. So until then, it's goodbye. What's this, Paul? A line for Vigo ice cream? It must be good. We never line up for anything. After standing in line for half an hour, let's see what all the fuss is about. What did you get, Paul? Uh, this is the latte macchiato and the uh, pistachio. Okay, and a sweet cone. Mmm. Very, very creamy. I just went for my old faithful vanilla. So I am a bit of vanilla connoisseur, so let's see how this <laughs> compares. I always compare with Morelli, so let's see. Mmm, it is very creamy. You said creamy, didn't you? Uh-huh. Mmm. I think one scoop was definitely enough, though. I know it looks as though I would eat lots and lots of ice cream, but no, usually one scoop is sufficient. Gosh, and there's still a long line.